Hey there, so this tutorial is part of a 9 video series where I'll show you how to produce an Afrobeat song starting from how to make the beats, how to set up a session for recording, recording lead vocals, backup vocals, mixing and even mastering the entire song for this project. So don't forget to check the description for links to other parts of this series to watch the rest of it. Hey there, so we're going to be breaking down these beats to see how it was all put together for this song. So I'm just going to listen to it for a bit and then we'll take it apart. Let's listen. So let's take it apart starting from the lead melody and this was where the idea all came from um this melody line right here then i played some counter melody and a simple chord progression And then right here is the drums, very simple drums, very simple for the drum patterns. And this is how the drums sound. Really simple kick, rim shots, and few layers of percussions. All right, then with it, there's a shaker loop that comes in and the pre-hook, I mean. So it just adds that extra movement to it. So it's important that when you're structuring out your song, you can add a couple of elements in your drums. You don't always have to rely on melodies to separate or define sections of your song. You can always use drum elements like shaker loops, percussions, or even maybe layered rim shots, layered snares, and so on and so forth to make your drums sound more interesting in different parts of a song, all right? Let's hear how it sounds with the melodies I played earlier. So it sounds really simple and really groovy and that's how most of my productions are. I, I try not to overcomplicate things because I feel some of the best music I made when they sound really simple, all right? And it gives the, the artist room to really vibe. So after building the melodies and the drum structure, I decided to add some parts you know, to give it that uplifting feel, especially in the hook section, which I have right here. So if you're still struggling with how to make really good music, whether you're trying to record, make beats, mix, master, or all of the above, all you have to do is click the link in the description below that says one on one private lessons. And I'm going to teach you personally how to make much better music via Zoom. It's really interactive and it's result based, results guaranteed. So don't forget the link is in the description. Hit the link, fill out the form. So let's get back to the tutorial, shall we? And then, we, of course, we need some ambient melody to fill up a little bit of space without complicating or making it sound even more choked up. Because ambient melody is just basically plays in the background and adds an extra feel to it. And in this song, I have two separate bass lines, all right? I have one right here. And then I have another one also for the um, hook. So 
So these little details can help spice up your arrangement, all right? You don't always have to think of the creative ideas to make unique sections of your song. So next, we have some um, transitions that is like some reverse cymbal, claps, and drum rolls to add even more distinction between parts of this song. Like for example, in this section right here. And this takes us out of the intro of the song into the first verse. Really loud. And then next right here, we also have the section that also takes us from the first half of the verse into the second half of the verse. And then we also have another section that takes us from the verse itself into the pre-hook. All right, so that's how the beats came together. Hey there, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit me with a thumbs up so other people that need videos like this can easily find it right here on YouTube. And also hit the subscribe button down below so that you can keep up to date with latest tutorials on production, beat making, um, recording vocals, mixing, mastering in FL Studio. All right.